I am excited to share with you how I match stripes when I am sewing. So yes, yeah, so today I'm going to use Simplicity 1167 and I'm going to use the tank top pattern and I'm going to use that to demonstrate how I like to match stripes when I'm sewing. We will go inside to get started. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do is to lay out my pieces on the um, cutting mat and I like to make sure that the lines are even. So as you can see here, I try to make sure these lines are straight and that they're lined up here so that I can pretty much tell that the uh, pattern is going to be traced on the grain um, because this is supposed to be cut on the fold I'm using this as my grain line okay so that's what I'll do first and then what I'm going to do is do this for the front piece and I'll do the same thing for the back piece I'm going to trace out the two pieces of two pattern pieces onto this tracing paper and then I will show you what I will do next. Okay, so now I have traced out my pattern piece and this is the bottom half. This is the, the uh, piece that I traced. And so you want to put these two pieces together so that you will have one piece. So what I'm going to do to put it together just to make it a little easier, I'm gonna keep them together and then I'm gonna take this removable tape which is nice because you can, it doesn't rip your pattern paper. So I am going to just tape in a couple of places. And then when you open it, make sure everything is nice and flat. And then when you open it, you should have one whole piece. Like that. Looks like I should I maybe should put a little more tape in the middle here because there's a big opening there. So I will put a few more strips tape down. But the whole idea is that you want to have one whole piece and then you do the same thing for, where's my tape? Here we go. And then you're gonna do the same thing for your second piece. So this is the front piece and then I'm going to do the same thing for my back piece. Okay, so I have cut out the front piece and the back piece and I labeled front and back just in case I need to use this pattern again I'll, if I take it apart I'll know which is which and then also whenever I'm cutting out patterns pieces pattern pieces out of a single layer of fabric I always cut out on the right side of the fabric so this fabric is the right this side is the right side and this is the wrong side so what I do now or what I have done is I make sure that the underarm seam is on the same stripe on each side. So this is going to be at the top of the brown. I make sure it's at the top of the brown and it's on the same exact stripe. So I threw, I drew a line just to show that I'm on the same one. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the back piece. I make sure that it's on the brown at the top of the corners and that it's on the same stripe all the way across each, each piece. And then you pin it down. I like to use rocks, but whatever you want to use to hold your, your pattern piece on top of the fabric, you will do that and then you will go ahead and cut your two pieces out. Okay, so now that you have your front and your back pieces cut out, make sure you label them so you'll know which is which. And as you can see, the stripes want to line up. So that's a good thing. And in this particular pattern, the back is longer than the front. So that's why you see the difference here. So what I like to do is I take some wonder tape and I put some on both sides. So I put some on this side just to begin. 
and I'll peel this wonder tape off and then I will match up the stripes and stick them together once I make sure that they're lined up as perfectly as I can get them. And then um, I'll do that to both sides. And then I'll show you what's next. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that I have my stripes lined up and taped down, then I'm going to baste everything together. So let me do that. And it would be ideal to use a walking foot if you have one but I'm just gonna use the traditional, the regular sewing foot. Okay, so you can, so I'm just gonna base this seam down. What I'm going to do now is turn it inside out and see how everything came out. Okay, so this is one side and I'm pretty happy with that. And then this is the other side and I'm pretty happy with that also. So yeah, that is how I match stripes. Yeah, so that is how I like to match side seam stripes when I'm sewing. So I hope that this video was helpful to someone. And if I were going to make a garment that needed the seam down the back, say for example, if there was a zipper going down the back or something, in that case, what I would do is I would cut out each back piece individually, cut one out, flip it over, cut out the second piece, and then make sure they're lined up and then go about everything else pretty much the same from that point on as far as taping the sides down and making sure everything lines up at the corners of the arm sleeve and all that so yeah that's what i would do so before i go i want to leave you with a love share so my love share for today is that dogs actually have weddings there are people that marry dogs and if you're interested in doing that you can even hire a dog wedding planner so that was something I learned recently that I did not know um, existed and I wanted to share it with you so thank you so much for watching and you will see me in the next video